called white genocide. Oh my god. Y'all, how do I resist myself from literally just punching my computer monitor? Hi everyone, welcome in, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emmy. if you are new here, it's so good to have you here. Today we are watching The Boys Season 2, Episode 8, What I Know, aka the Season 2 Finale. I cannot believe we're already at the Season 2 Finale. I mean, the fact that there's only 8 episodes per season definitely means this show moves a little bit faster than what I typically react to. But still, this season has been a wild, wild ride. It was, has definitely been more intense than season one. And God only knows how intense season three will be. <laughs> I'm a little bit nervous for that. Even though this show is undeniably disturbing and gross at times, I think it's honestly one of my favorite shows. It's been so, so good. And I enjoy being shocked. And this certainly has shock value, unlike anything else I've seen. We left off the last episode perfectly set up for a finale. We had some questions still. Stormfront revealed her true self to Homelander, and she has this, like, plan. Stormfront is an awful racist person, <laughs> which I'm sure we can all agree on. Also, we found this place that Vought is posing as a mental institution, where they're really just holding soup terrorists and some of those guys got free we briefly met lamplighter and we lost them shortly after but huey and starlight and even starlight's mom are all hiding right now and they're just kind of waiting for the next move cindy i believe was the name of one of the soup terrorists that seemed super powerful was able to get free and the question remains because the last clip of the last episode was that we were finally holding Vought accountable. We had a brilliant witness to testify. And then right when he was about to, nearly half of the courtroom were decapitated. I guess that's a nice way of saying it. But yeah, so many questions. I'm a little bit scared for what's in store for us today, but we're just gonna go ahead and get started. If you aren't already subscribed, I'd really appreciate that. Of course, a thumbs up is appreciated too. Also, on my Patreon, I'm a month ahead, so if you're interested in both early access and full uncut timed reactions, you can check out my link for that in the description below. All right, let's go. How to survive There's a, a super, super, super villain, villain attack campus. at school. Oh, God. Okay. I think we all know what problem this parallels in real life, and it's awful that children have to worry about that. Lock all doors and windows. Okay. I can get behind that. Arm yourselves. Your teacher should have an authorized firearm. No. No! Not the arm yourselves. As someone who taught first graders, do you guys really want me to have a gun? That's, we don't need to get into all that, but that's literally the most stupid thing. And also not a teacher's responsibility. You get paid nothing. Survival. Survival is all that matters. Oh my God. Sometimes these things hit too close to home. This is one of those moments. An authorizing compound V for use by law enforcement and first responders. Oh, wow. They want to give compound V to first responders and cops? That's actually terrifying. If Vought took a shit in the middle of Fifth Avenue, they'd throw a terror. How do I know this actor? Was he in The Walking Dead or something? The boys. Their title screens are always cool. Oh my god, it's Becca? She's getting away? I mean, I guess she can try better to now that Ryan isn't here, but why don't they just let her go? Because, again, she doesn't have Ryan anymore. Why do they care? Because she would reveal the truth? Okay, drive straight to Jen's in Sedona. Cash for gasoline, no hotels. Good luck. I hope she is fine. And I hope Annie's good too. RPG releases an electromagnetic pulse on impact. Should cut through Stormfront's plasma. Whoa. We're making soup weapons? We know that Noir needs any fucking tree nut. How about it? Sure. That was revealed in the last episode how Black Noir is just allergic to tree nuts. All you need is an AR 15 and meep meep. No more. <laughs> meep and meep, no more. Well said, Frenchie. Maybe I know someone who does. Maeve? Give us the day. Maeve. Maeve's gonna save the day, right? She was kind of like. Almost there to help us in the last episode. You didn't do this. I wish I'd killed Vogelbaum. 
Oh, okay. See, I had thought that maybe Stormfront knew who it was. It's Edgar. Maybe. I mean, it's Edgar? For his kind. Okay. That little racist remark there was not necessary. She's actually so awful. Edgar, though. Like, literally Edgar or something that Edgar knows? Last I checked, you are not 57 years old. So, come on. 57 years old is so specific. It was just the music in my house growing up. You know, I did some somersaults. I bet it was important to his mom. Like, maybe his mom really liked Billy Joel. Because we don't know what happened to her. But it does seem like a sore spot for Huey. I just... Would never. No, he just would never. He's just too good for this world. <gasps> we are at Maeve's. Maeve, help us. We need you. He's even more of a twink than in the photo. Please. I split. Healy is getting insulted so much, and it's only been 10 minutes. And sooner or later, they're going to hurt someone you love. Am I talking to you? Oh, talking about some people that she loves right now is not the best timing. But Huey didn't know that. Haven't I done enough for you? Oh, I feel so bad for Maeve, honestly. Because you, like, know that she is a good person, but she's just so beaten down. Nothing ever changes or gets better. God, that's really sad that she feels that way. Maeve, you're gonna, like, think about it, though, right? Surely she will. She's gonna think about it. She's gonna realize Starlight's right. And then she's going to save the day at some point when we least suspect it, right? I just want her to. I really like Maeve and I have hope for her. Really, really, really. They took him. Oh my god, Becca made it here? Did Butcher tell her where he was? It's amazing she made it to him. Fresh gum? No, thank you. Awful stuff. Agreed, Edgar. Awful stuff. We hate Fresca. Only people in cults like Fresca. In the Deep's rehabilitation. Our internal research bureau shows an impressive... Oh, so he is trying to get deep back in the seven. Moment I have to indulge her. What's the problem with A-Train? Oh. Among your grandfather's first followers, back when the collective was a startup. Oh? Knows exactly what Stormfront's problem is with A-Train. Oh, wow. Racism. Oh, A-Train heard that? So maybe we'll get A-Train on our side, too. Okay, that was interesting though. Was that was Mr. Egger implying that when the church started, it was like a racist group? <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I wish I that's could. That's so say funny. The, same. the way they're all looking at Becca like that. That's so sweet. So you think he's in the tower? Not sure. You stay here. Yeah, we don't really know where they took Ryan at all. I will find your son. Oh, and like surely Butcher has taking time to understand what her son means to her now. So they're going to do it the right way. Because I think he's like accepted that she cares about Ryan. And because he cares about her so much, he now cares about Ryan too, you know? Hi. We've been having a super fun oh. time in here. Ryan's been hanging out with Ashley? Cats? What happened to your hair? <gasps> oh, no. I feel so bad for her. She is getting too stressed out. Mom says that learning is a gift, so... Mm -hmm. Learning is a gift. How could you dispute that? Do you think maybe I could call her? Oh, he misses her, and of course he does. She's his mom. And even if there is distrust there, she's been the woman raising him for his entire life. Of course he misses her. How about we take a field trip? What do you say, Dad? Field trip? To where? It's probably not going to be fun. Welcome to Planet Vought. Would you like to try our new Brave Maeve? Planet Vought? So is it like Planet Hollywood, the restaurant, but Vought? <laughs> oh, wow. Like I'm nervous. There's people recognizing him. I hope Homelander isn't going to get, like, impatient with them. Can I get a picture? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh. Nobody's watching Ryan. Ryan's not used to this many people. Oh, no. I feel so bad for him. He's having a panic attack. You okay? Oh, my mom. Oh, of course you do. Thank you, everyone. Wow, Homelander Excuse is me. actually helping him? Excuse me. Wow. Please, please, just stay back. Stay back. Thank you. Why was the army out front? 
Is it because of the soup terrace and they think that restaurant would be a target? My mom's not dead. Oh. She's not? Yeah, she's not. We kind of assumed that she was. That's where Billy Joel comes uh -huh. from. Aha. I was right. I called that. She liked Billy Joel. Fuck them. Time to go. Oh. I'm sure that that's... That's sad. I wonder if we will ever see his mom. Like, if they'll ever reunite. Pathetic, isn't it? No. It isn't, but also sometimes you gotta put Some you first. Hey, <laughs> train! How did he just get in there like that? We're even now, bitch. Oh, wait! He's actually helping us out. Gone. Fuck that Nazi bitch. Yes. Finally, something that we can agree on with A Train. So, is that stuff that we knew about her already, or is there gonna be more information in there? Wow. I can't believe but you got a meeting with Mr. Egger. You turned a racist piece of shit into America's sweetheart. Why would he even want that? Angry people want compound B. Wow. Raises our stock price. Wow, he cares about money that much Bird. that he doesn't care about his own, like, morals. Maybe you should take a look in the mirror, mate. Literally. Literally, Butcher. That's what I'm saying. How could he, as a black man, be like, this is fine? Raging entitled maniac. That's a white man's luxury. Okay, that is valid and true too. Do a bit of fucking job of hiding them this time, yeah? Hiding them like together, right? Not Becca. Becca stays with me. But no. That's the whole point. That what do you mean, Butcher? I'm taking my wife back. That's the deal. Butcher. And Rebecca shows up at my doorstep begging to be reunited with her. Literally, why would you think Becca would be okay with that? I Ryan's protection from Homelander. Because as you know... What is Butcher doing? He's making a do... you call me a ruthless bastard. Literally. Look at the way that Edgar was smirking, though. He's like, I actually kind of like this Butcher guy because he's kind of a little bit like me. They're, like, cut from the same cloth. Butcher, that's awful. Surely he'll come around, right? Becca would not be okay with that. She would rather... I mean, she was basically in a prison with her son because she loves her son and she doesn't want her to and she doesn't want him to turn out like homelander she would do that again she has chosen that she has chosen to stay with ryan over butcher so why would butcher think that would be okay there were just so many people yeah there was yeah buddy i get it i get mad social anxiety especially in crowds too people staring at me reaching out trying to grab me i wonder when that was i wonder how old he homelander was when he was introduced to the world as a superhero but of a man so not in a long while but men can cry too come on let's get rid of that narrative i'll teach you really we're gonna have lessons with homelander He said, I love you. Okay, Ryan's not saying it back. But he does look like he cares about him a little bit now, which is a little scary. And I wonder how much of that Homelander means. Because he's obviously a narcissist. And narcissistic parents, even if they love their children, it can be very, very problematic. Well done, you two. This will do nicely. Yeah, I need to know what exactly is in that. Oh stuff this is good stormfront needs to go away forever especially huey he's uh <laughs> he's good for you he's his canary becca gets it Tristan, i ain't gonna lose you he's again. my son and i'm coming oof butcher just doesn't want her to go because then she would realize what's going on what's he gonna do about that that you will save him no matter what and you will get him back to me oh butcher swear to me then Swear to her. I swear to me on your brother's soul. On, on your brother's soul. I swear to you on Lenny's soul. Butcher, you just can't do that. You just, you literally already messed it up. Unless he's going to change something. Like, what is that face? Is that face saying, ooh, I just lied to her? Or, ooh, I got to make a change. Let's hope for the latter, because that would be so messed up. You cannot just swear on your dead brother's grave especially to your wife about something that means so much to her freeze yes sorry i'm still learning 
No, it's cute that he's learning. That's it. That's it. Keep going. Is that deep no for the lessons? He's a training dummy. That's funny. Well, sometimes it helps to imagine someone you hate. Okay. Someone he hates. He hardly knows anyone. He only knows his mom. He can hate away. <laughs> but I don't really hate anyone. Oh. Yeah, right. They want to wipe us from this earth. Because of what you look like? Just because of the color of our skin. Because of the color of your skin? Oh. It's called white genocide. Oh my god. Y'all, how do I resist myself from literally just punching my computer monitor in Stormfront's face? I hate her so much. I cannot believe that she just said that. <laughs> I can't. I can't put it into words. <laughs> how much I hate her. Of course I dance. What is the point of life without dancing? Aww. They dance. I see it, Frenchie. We gotta go now. You close? One more man, mon ami. Where is she going? Turning Stormfront and Oh, let's Nazi go. Times. Let's go. This is good. This is good. Sweet justice. Showing Stormfront with Nazi high Maeve. command. Maeve. Maeve. Puncher. And Maeve, you're thinking about doing something and I know it. Oh my god. It's catchy. <laughs> That certainly is catchy. Oh, this is good that that's coming out. Maybe we can get rid of Stormfront. Oh god, what is that? I don't know, Ryan. What is that? I hate that. What an awful noise. I'm sorry, was Frenchie's wallpaper a cat in like a tuxedo? Get him. Oh. I'm so happy they're back together with each other. Butcher. Who's that? That's my husband. That's my husband. Butcher. How could you see them together and give Ryan up? You can't. What is he going to do? Oh, thank you. Thank you for that, Homelander. That was starting to really irritate my ears. Take my car. Get them both to Mallory. Get them both to <gasps> Let's go. Please, MM. I cut a deal with Stan Edgar. Oh, he's telling the truth. <laughs> oh, poor Becca. Fuck me, I, I couldn't do it. Good, good, thank God. <laughs> nice caller ID. Did I hear you say butcher? Oh no. Oh no. Homelander's gonna kill these people. Yep. Homelander is going to kill these people. Where's my son? Oh, God. Oh, God. Bro, you're not going to get answers by killing them all like that. Although they don't even know. I don't want to pass my shit on to him. Don't mm. see a thing you have to That's sad that Butcher said that. But he really, like, can't go with them right now. You gotta let me do this one fucking thing. That's so sad. But at least Butcher did come around. God, can you imagine if he didn't? So we're not ever gonna see her again? I mean, Butcher really doing a good thing right now, but it's very upsetting. Oh no. Oh my. Oh my god. I'm sorry, MM was in there, Becca was in there, Ryan was in there. Maybe Stormfront figured that Ryan is like invisible? But what about MM? And Becca. The pictures are clearly deep fakes and you're a lying slut. Deep fakes, yeah. Good try with that one. Oh, MM's okay. Becca? Becca is seemingly okay? They just don't like the word Nazi. That's all. Somebody has to punch her right now. Are you okay? Are you okay? Go! Poor Ryan. Oh, Kimiko. She freezing up. <laughs> oh? Kimiko? What's happening? She says the truth is, she's gonna stick her boot up your Nazi. <laughs> Kimiko. Okay, let's go then. Yes, thank you, Kimiko. I asked for someone to give her a good punch in the face. It's our only chance! Oh my god. Well, Frenchie, maybe if you didn't yell the RPG, it's in the car, it's our only chance, 
Maybe Stormfront wouldn't have blown that up as fast. Oh my god. Oh my god. <gasps> okay, but Himiko's okay though, right? Because like she's she's she dies and she comes back. That happened to her before. And she came back. So that's like her whole shtick, right? So she, Kimiko's gonna be okay. Right? <laughs> Just give her a moment. She's gonna come back. Hey, Kraut. Me! Let's go! Y'all, I told you guys, Maeve was gonna come around. When we least suspected too. I didn't know it was gonna be then. Maeve's here. Let's freaking go. <laughs> yeah, this is nice to watch. Very good to watch. <laughs> when she... Girls do get it done. That's hilarious. She left? That's not allowed. She was supposed to die. Where would she have gone to, though? Oh my god. Oh my god. He literally got everyone, didn't he? He looks disgusting. Why did he have to lick his lips like that? Ew. Oh no. No! Okay, I get it now. Ryan's gonna be like, I have someone I hate now. It's you. And then he's gonna freaking blast Stormfront. Because before he didn't hate anyone, it, this will make him hate her. Stop Ryan. Please. Ryan, help out. Ryan. Do something. You can do it. You're our only hope right now, Ryan. Look at me. I like to see the light go. God, she's disgusting. Stop. Ryan? <gasps> it's happening. Did Ryan get her? Oh my god. I'm shot and I'm up. Oh my god. Ryan certainly did get her. Is she okay? <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Stop. <laughs> oh no. Sorry. I feel so bad for Ryan. <laughs> it's not his fault. <laughs> oh my god, stop. This is gonna make me cry. <laughs> oh god, my heart's breaking. <laughs> you promised me you keep it. Safe. You have to promise that, Butcher. You have to. Back off. Oh god, that's awful. This is awful. What? We've, rec <laughs> We've experienced a wide range of emotions in this episode. But that is so sad for Becca and really, really, really awful for Ryan. But hey, look on the bright side. Stormfront's like dead right hopefully hopefully she can't recover from that sorry, sorry. butcher sorry. so butcher's like dad now to ryan butcher 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 oh my god he looks he looks crazed butcher you cannot hurt him oh great homelander's here great love that I'm disturbed. I like actually can't look at her. She looks so gross. It's making me sick. Ew, 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 ew. Like I just ate recently and this is not it for me. Did you do this? I didn't mean to. Is he gonna be proud of him? Because he actually uses powers? Ryan, come here. Stop. Ryan's choosing Butcher. That's so sweet. He's mine. He chose us, so just leave. You saved the little shit that fucking murdered your wife. He didn't mean to. He, in fact, tried to save her. Have it your way. Stop. Maeve. Maeve rules the world. Maeve? True MVP of this episode. Let's go, Let Maeve. Go. You're but gonna also, stop. What is stopping Homelander from just zapping her right now? As long as everyone sees what a fucking monster you are. Wow. Let's go, no me. 
Never loves She's to be awesome. Again. And he loves to be loved. So so we're just taking Ryan. Where where are we planning on going to? And Homeland is gonna let that happen like forever? The release of compound V has been placed on indefinite hold. Oh, and isn't he sad about that because of the money? Stormfront has been neutralized, being held in an undisclosed location. Where? Why can't she just be dead? Are two of the best, most loyal friends that I could ever have. Wow. Imagine going through all that and then hearing him say that to you. Press conferences are wild. Wow. It's wild because we started the series and he's like the big guy. And now it's like Maven Starlight. Mm. PDR. Private data <laughs> reserve. Hmm. Good acting, Adrian. I liked that. That was you? Dude. I didn't know, sir. Fuck him. I would never. Oh my god, Deep. He's such a cult member. You're back in. Fuck you! Yes! Yes! Adrian's back in. I'm back too, right? Right? I'm anti Nazi. I'm sorry, Deep, but. <laughs> Not even just saying I'm anti Nazi. We're all just fucking space boars. I didn't laugh. I did everything you were. We're all space boars. It's at the end of the Church of Scientology. Deep needs to get out of this Fuck hole, this anyways. Guy. Yeah, me and my homies all hate Fresca. If you jump ship and you let the asshole steer, then you're part of the problem. Mm. Yeah, she has to stay in it to steer it. Aww. Are they together again? We'll just be friends then. Oh, oh God, no, 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 I'm still gonna oh. play you, I'm not- <laughs> I thought he was talking about her too, that's funny. So does that mean he's leaving the boys behind? Oh, he's giving that to him. Real dad moment. I'm here for Butcher's dad arc. Now, remember what I told you. Wait, Ryan's going off on his own? No, that's scary. He does need a parent. I mean, this is the safe thing to do, but God, it just breaks my heart. That we lost Becca. You think he'll turn into his father? God, I hope not. I pray she's right. I pray Becca's right too. Ryan's a good kid. She's sneaking me some off the books funding for a team that can keep tabs. Funding? You mean we can get paid? Oh. And then back with his daughter and with a stuffed penguin. That's so cute. Are we gonna leave this place? Oh, They're dancing? Stop, that's gonna make me cry. They're so cute. This is gonna make me cry. They finally get to leave this dungeon and live normally. No. No. No, I don't want to watch this. We're over that. The church's tax exempt status. Small price to pay. She's working with the church? What? God, it's been so long. I literally forgot that we don't even know who did that. <gasps> it's her? Wait, what? Why? What? What? <laughs> what is it? I don't understand. What is her agenda, though? Here's Cause she's so like anti-vibe, but then is she just trying to like mm, create problems to make her campaign look good? But who would go that far with it though? You can give me a job. Huey, you turn around and you walk yourself out of there. I want to do it the right way. Not covered in quite as many guts. Uh, we just saw what she did and you will be covered in guts around her. When can you start? No, Huey. Huey, 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 this is so bad. Wow, 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 what a season finale. Friends, thank you so much for watching the boys season two finale. I have to say, like, I don't remember the last time I watched a season finale that was so, like, emotion packed. We experienced all the emotions. I mean, there is happiness when Maeve 
finally came to her senses and she's helping us out. And then there's like satisfaction that finally Stormfront's truth has come out and we got her. And then there's so, 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 so much sadness when Becca died and now Ryan is off on his own. That's also like really, really anxiety inducing because we can only hope for the best for him, but it's going to be rough. It's going to be rough. Huey and Annie are back together again. And Huey is like, I'm done with this. And then he immediately walked right into another lion's den. Vic, the congresswoman, is the soup that has been exploding people's heads. And I still don't really understand her agenda. I think that's the point. I don't think we're supposed to at this point. All I can really think is that maybe she's less just like creating her own problems. It's almost like she's playing chess, but <laughs> instead of moving pawns on a board, it's by exploding people's heads. <sighs> yeah, that's a good analogy. <laughs> Anyways, that was seriously an incredible season finale. I can only guess what's in store for us in season three. But yeah, thank you again so much for watching with me. And until I see you in the next video, I hope you stay hydrated, stretch your legs, please don't get arrested, and I will see you then. Goodbye.